Andrew Berkowitz and his family have seen a lot of change in Texas. We originally were from over in Hewitt, mm -hmm. and just this was a nice area. It's got bigger homes than where they were in Hewitt. They're brand new. So we're able to pick a floor plan and go with the builder. To get his piece of the American dream, Berkowitz moved from suburban Hewitt to the outer fringe of Waco. Now that's unusual because a lot of people tend to leave the city for the suburbs, but you can't get much more suburban than Harris Creek. Crops once grew where these houses stand now. In fact, farming continues across Highway 84. In this part of Texas, it seems more and more farmland becomes subdivisions every year. And boy, are we growing a fine crop of them. Planning experts tell us not to expect that to stop anytime soon. But it's this crop that put a new face on Waco, giving it popular new neighborhoods. How did Waco develop down this highway and not others? For that matter, why does Temple continue to grow westward? And why do Bryan and College Station see no end to growth in sight? There's a lot of facts and figures in here. Folks in the planning business say, in general, growth happens along what you might call the path of least resistance. What are the main drivers of growth? Well, one thing is, is do you have the services in place to support that? Since this major U.S. highway already had water and electrical lines running to it, the rest came easier. But planners say there's a limit to how far most of this will go. People like green grass and they like trees. They go, yeah, but too many yeah. of them, that's a problem. Well, perhaps, yeah. But also, they don't want to live necessarily too far away from say, where they work or where their kids go to school. Already the Berkowitz family has begun to think along those lines. Definitely a lot of expansion. A uh, little nervous that the, if all the services will support all that expansion. For now, they do. So suburban growth keeps pushing all of our cities outward, gobbling up the countryside and changing where we live. Dennis Turner, 25 News.